I've seen other people teaching online courses, and I say to myself, should they be teaching? Because if you look at, at their experience, how many years they've been doing something, just because they've been doing it for 20 years doesn't mean they're good at actually teaching something. But according to you know, some math, oh, they, they've been doing X thing for X number of years, so they should be able to teach it. But I, I completely disagree with that. First is confidence. Second, probably they found out what people need and just adjust the offer. It also can be very bad for the market because sometimes people sell you bad products. You just need to <laughs> be careful about this and check the testimonials and maybe talk to other people how good the program is, how good the teachers and coaches are, especially if they charge premium prices. Because I paid a lot of money for the services and I was treated so badly. So it doesn't matter what the price is, the feedback and the attitude and the quality of the materials is also important. But the thing is that sometimes people, people who sell not very good stuff will not survive in the long term. You would hope. Uh... But, and again, maybe, maybe this is only applies to acting, coaching, because I, I don't know so much about other areas, but there might be some people that are, are very bad teachers, not, not, not fraudulently bad, just bad teachers who don't have expertise in teaching something. And if you look at the reviews, people will say, oh, this is the best thing ever. I learned so much, blah, 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 blah. But that's because it's beginners who are saying, I'm learning so much, but beginners don't know that what they're learning is the wrong thing. So you can't always rely on testimonials and, and reviews and other people's feedback because you have to look who is giving the feedback. Are you qualified as a, as a, as a customer? Are you qualified to say the, co the, the quality of this content is good enough? There are so many variables that are involved when choosing good quality coaches and teachers and, and speakers. Exactly, but it also depends on the market. If we talk about acting area, acting niche, the market is not that big. The competition is much lower if, for example, I would sell business coaching. And the quality of the service will be different too. That's why it's more hard to decide, okay, oh, is this acting coach very good or not? Because when, for example, a life coach business is, oh, it's so saturated right now. Everybody is a life coach nowadays. But many of them cannot sell. Many of them cannot give people their results. They give some for, as you say, the beginners. But what's then? They can make a long-term business, but they will make a little bit of money. They will not be able to charge that much and have the sustainable business for a very long time charging, I don't know, $5,000 for a course and give you just a little bit of progress. It's still, if you want to build your business, you need to make sure that you give the best of yourself for the price that you're comfortable charging for the beginning, because once you get comfortable at selling, talking about the stuff and making the offer and talking about the objections and concerns that people have, this skill will bring you more money in the long term. It doesn't matter what program you're going to sell. Because first, you don't have enough confidence in selling your program. Once you know that, yes, I'm sure 100% that I'm going to get people the results and I've done it, I have the proof. Then you know that person needs it, you show them your proof. It's all about the conversation between you, the sales skill. But just because you have the confidence doesn't mean that you should. Yes, but people do that. But what if the product is no good? That's not your business. Wait, uh, if, if, if people uh, sell their stuff, I'm not saying that you should do it, but I'm just saying there are businesses that offer bad service. It's just because they have more confidence than other people. They sell bad service. So you mean it's up to the market to decide whether something is good or bad? How else can you 
you know, oh. get these people out of the market. Even if you want to do a good thing and tell people that your competitors are not very good, what can you do? And you want to be a good person and do everything legally, right? Mm-hmm. So the market will decide for how long they will stay. Let's put it that way. If you look at the US service in general, there are, people say, oh, there's so much competition. The market is so saturated for many niches. It's so difficult to build this service. The service is terrible, so bad. I'm like, I've heard about the US so many good things. And because you have so big picture of, you know, the big company startups and technologies, everything's supposed to be good there. And maybe they put a lot of money in marketing. It looks good on paper. It looks good with the reviews. When you start working with them, it's not that good at all, especially if you have something to compare with. And that's why I'm saying if you have your knowledge and you have your expertise and you're good at this, start selling. People will come because of the service, your attitude, the results they get. When they get the results and they know that you you are there for them and your experience can help them to get to the level they want or even above, they will start talking about you. This word of mouth marketing has always been much better than any other marketing. Any advertisement, it's called marketing. Mm -hmm. They don't know you. But if someone say, oh, AJ is so good, it's the best actor I've worked with, and he has the best course, I recommend you to join his program. Or if one director would say, oh, AJ is so good, he's so easy to work on set, I recommend him for another role. You get more business. You're good and you know the value that you bring, you offer that to people. Then you just need to expand this, how you can reach more people. Because people already know you, you have your, you, you have your model, you have your product skill that you sell, how you can reach more people. As an actor, if you sell your acting skills or if you sell your services, your products, how can I reach more people who are interested in my service? Then it becomes only the traffic or leads problem. It's not the matter of the package and even how you sell. Mm -hmm. And if you want to monetize your knowledge and experience, you can download my free guide, Sell Your Expertise. I put the link in the descriptions below so you can check it out. And after you get a guide, I also will send you some more tips on how you can grow your business. And if you want to get some more advice on how to sell and how to be confident at selling, check this video next.